This is Green Janine for Toss50.com, the other side of 50. And I'm here today with Fran Metzger, who is the recycling coordinator for Monmouth County in New Jersey. Hey, welcome, Fran. Hi, thank you. And today, Fran's going to talk to us about environmental shopping. When we go shopping, we make many choices, and some of the choices that we make can lead to more garbage. And Fran's going to tell us a little bit about that. So, Fran, what kind of tips do you have for our viewers? Well, when shopping in the supermarket, you have so many choices, and the key is to look for the minimal amount of packaging that you can find. Um, in this particular example I have here is an ear of corn. You just have a loose corn. And over here, another store offers packaging such as your styrofoam tray with plastic wrap over it, and then you finally have your corn. This is definitely excessive packaging. There's no need for the styrofoam tray. The plastic wrap is not necessary. A loose ear of corn, you just shuck the corn. You throw this in your compost pile. Should you have a compost pile, you cook the corn, eat it. You could recycle the cob as well, also in your compost bin. And you make much less trash than something such as this. If you should have um, styrofoam, recycling in your community, that would be great and then you could put this out at the curb for recycling, but many of us don't have that option. In addition, um, single servings. This is, you know, six different containers of applesauce. Well, we all know that applesauce also comes in a jar that we could use a reusable container and we can pour uh, the applesauce in there and we can wash it out when done. This would have to be either recycled or thrown in the trash. Many uh, areas you can recycle this kind of container, but there are areas still that this container is not recyclable in the programs. So basically when we're shopping in the supermarket, we want to look at you know, how the items are packaged. Many of them are packaged very uh, pretty to be marketable, but we have to think twice about it to see whether or not it's going to go in your recycling bin or is it going to go in your garbage. And what about looking for packages that are made out of materials that are recycled in your community? What kind of choices can people make in that regard? Well, you definitely have a, um, a key. On all recycled products, especially the plastic products, there's arrows, uh, running arrows with a number inside. And usually it's at the bottom of the uh, plastic container. And you want to look for, in our area, basically ones and twos, which is what we recycle. But the uh, programs do run one through seven. So in some areas you can recycle all of those plastics, but basically as a guideline you look at those arrows and you see what number is on the bottom to see what uh, recycling you can do with it. So if you live someplace where they only recycle one and two and you have a choice at the store, buy something in the container that you can recycle in your community. Yeah. Um, and that would make the most sense because this way at least you're not throwing it in the trash where it's going to sit in the landfill for years and years. What about reusing packaging? Reusing packaging is, you know, if crafts are a great thing. I mean, kids just love it if they're doing arts and crafts. You could take the styrofoam tray and, you know, kids could use their imagination and do all sorts of great things with it. So if you have products where um, you can see an afterlife for, I would definitely use it for that kind of thing. You can donate it to nursery schools as well or other senior groups uh, in the area. There are other options you know, for uh, reusable packaging, if not for the recycling programs. And how about shopping bags? Yeah, the shopping bags is the big topic nowadays. Uh, most supermarkets offer the plastic bags, but a choice that the uh, consumer has is to purchase for a small amount a, uh, a plastic, um, well, this particular one is made from 100% post-consumer plastic. Um, but these reusable tote bags are really great and uh, you can get a lot of life out of them over and over again. So I would say that if you have the choice, I would go with the reusable bag over the plastic bag. Thank you, Fran. Oh, you're very welcome.